Today, the Senate overwhelmingly passed a portion of President Obama's jobs bill that gives incentives to businesses that hire veterans. Our business reporter, Tom Ziska, says it's part of a larger effort between the government and the private sector to employ thousands of these men and women. Natalie, also today, First Lady Michelle Obama announced a partnership designed to spur the hiring of veterans and military spouses. Obama's Joining Forces initiative and the International Franchise Association say they will hire 100,000 by 2014 at companies ranging from UPS to Kmart to Microsoft. Now, over the next year or so, nearly 200,000 veterans will return to civilian life. Many have only ever known the military as their employer, but the First Lady's call to action was echoed across the country. Yeah, uh, did you want to check with Jason? David Tate has come a long way since his return from the Vietnam War. His busy sign and graphic company has been in business in the Houston area more than 20 years. I would say it was an environment of indifference more than anything. The returning Marine was one of the lucky ones quickly finding a job, but 40 years ago that was often the exception for the warriors of an unpopular war. Local American Legion Commander Johnny Mollick says he's heard the stories. Veterans are not getting um, the jobs. We, we don't want our veterans to go through what the um, average person is going through. And we need to do everything we can in the private sector to hire these veterans. The International Franchise Association represents 825,000 small businesses in the country, employing 18 million people. Joining the White House effort, franchise businesses are committing to hiring 80,000 veterans and wounded warriors over the next two years. And our veterans have given so much for our country. They've put their lives on the line to protect us, to protect our freedoms. And the least we can do is find great, well-paying jobs for them. Retired Marine Captain Sean Falk, who owns a number of franchises in the Midwest, says businesses need to understand the bargain they get with a vet. David Tate knows that too, and when the time comes that he needs to hire, he says a veteran will get a head start over other candidates. We don't just do jobs here, we make commitments to people, and I believe they have a, a stronger knowledge of what a commitment is and to uh, see something through. The Franchise Association plans to use social media and government databases to help identify potential workers and the jobs that would appeal to them. They also have a program that nurtures qualified candidates to start their own businesses with financial incentives. Currently, there are 66,000 veteran-owned franchises in the United States. At the end of two years, they'd like to see more.